Yo, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. A huge win for the New York Knicks over the Chicago Bulls. We'll break down that game coming up in a second. Julius Randle was great. Jalen Brunson was great. OG Ananobi did what OG Ananobi was. I believe he was a team high when it comes to plus minus. He made a lot of winning plays, couple of cuts. Would like to see him be involved in the offense a little bit more, but... Let's all agree that the Knicks defense is much, much better. I just go back to that game against the Orlando Magic. I go back to that game against the Oklahoma City Thunder prior to the trade. Their wings killed us. Their wings bodied us. The teams were scoring 130 points per game against us. Last two games, your defense has been pretty good. And that's led by OG Ananobi. We're going to just answer questions from subscribers in today's show surrounding the latest Knicks news and rumors. So if we didn't get to your question today, you could change that by subscribing to the channel. Sub to Knicks Now for free, informative, passion-driven takes every day. I am Jules. Why do you think Brunson is getting so many more assists, specifically fire? Um... It's a great question, I am Jules, and appreciate you asking that. Look, Jalen Brunson uh, against the Minnesota Timberwolves had the most assists in a game that he ever had before. He hadn't had 10-plus assists a game this season, uh, and, and he did that on Monday, and he did that again tonight. Um, 13 assists for him tonight. I think the ball's in his hands a little bit more. Um, quickly, he's not coming in for 20 minutes to run the offense. R.J. Barrett's not coming and taking weak side drives and handling the ball. And also, I think, just kind of having shooters around him a little bit more. You're getting more Dante DiVincenzo. You're getting more Quentin Grimes. Like, Ananobi's hit a couple of threes. RJ, uh, Julius Randle has hit a couple of threes. Um, I think he's having the ball more. There's more spacing. There's more open shooters. Defenses are now focusing more in on stopping Jalen Brunson. He's got shooters ready and willing to let it go. I'm not exactly sure what the exact reason is. I think it's a combination of everything I just said. Um, but I do think it's a little bit because you've changed up your roster a little bit. I hope he becomes a 28 and 10 guy. That'd be pretty cool if we got a point guard like that. Tomorrow Bowles, who are you giving up to get a guy like DeJounte Murray? There's been a lot of trade rumors surrounding the Knicks. Uh, Adrian Wojnarowski said earlier this week that he expects the Knicks to pursue potentially a big salary player at the trade deadline or a role player and then make a trade for a superstar in the summer. And I think when you talk about the bigger salary, uh, it's a guy like DeJounte Murray. He makes $18 million right now. His contract extension that he signed in the summer kicks in this upcoming summer, 2024. And the Hawks are about $20 million away from that second apron. And they've got to pay Sadiq Bey if they want to keep him. They've got two first-round picks coming. They don't want to pay the second apron. The Atlanta Hawks are not a team that want to pay that tax. So I believe a trade with an expiring salary, as well as a role player maybe like Quentin Grimes that I think would fit well next to Trey Young, along with three protected picks and maybe one unprotected pick, could get the deal done. Um, I think it's evident that the New York Knicks need another guard. I mean, when they go to that lineup with Deuce McBride, Josh Hart, Quentin Grimes, Julius Randle, and a big, they are a terrible offensive group. And that was evident against the Chicago Bulls in the first half, and that was evident against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Having a guy like DeJounte Murray that can play alongside Brunson, I think he would fit better next to Brunson. One, because Brunson could play off ball. And two, Atlanta doesn't have an all-NBA player outside of Trey Young like Julius Randle go alongside DeJounte Murray. So when people say, Marsh didn't work in Atlanta, why would it work in New York? I think it's a little bit different. Um, but I want a guy that can run the offense and have the offense run through them when Brunson sits down and DeJounte Murray is perfect. Evan Fournier, my first offer is Fournier, three unprotected, one protected. Then I would go, if they say no to that, I'm going Fournier, Grimes, two unprotected, one protected. Uh, those are my two offers for DeJounte Murray. Brian B., should the Knicks consider keeping iHeart and trading Mitch in the offseason? Keeping iHeart? Absolutely. The New York Knicks should absolutely keep a guy like Isaiah Hartenstein. I don't want to trade Mitchell Robinson. He's on a very good contract. He signed a four-year, $60 million deal, one of the most affordable contracts for the most production you're getting at that center position, and it's a descending contract, which means 
which means it goes down in value every single year, which helps going into that second apron and into the future. But the Knicks have to keep this guy, too. The Knicks have to keep this guy, too. What he just did against the Bulls was incredible. It doesn't even show that he had five blocks. Ten points, 20 rebounds, five blocks. He was everywhere. Isaiah Hartenstein. <laughs> Keep being great, my man. Keep earning that check because you're about to get a bag in free agency, and I hope it's with the Knicks because you are a guy that I think should be on a team like the New York Knicks that's trying to contend and put some toughness around some of their, some of their guards and some smaller players. We'll get to more questions in a second, but first, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're continuing to put out content every single day, and now is the time to subscribe. The trade deadline's a month away. Our content's heating up. We're the fastest-growing channel on Knicks YouTube, so subscribe for free Knicks content every day. Also, make sure you are hooked up with our proud sponsor of today's show, Prize Picks. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. And put 100 bucks into your account with that promo code, and they'll match it with a $100 deposit match. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. It's just you versus the numbers. It's not you versus 1,000 other people, not you versus 1,000 other computers. It's you versus the stats. It's easy, it's fun, and you can win real money and deposit and take out money out of your account whenever. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. John Pettit. So what do you think about Gafford from Washington for a backup center? To me, I do think the Knicks need – I mean, look, when you don't have Mitchell Robinson, your front court is not nearly going to be as good, right? And I do think the Knicks could benefit from another center. But I do like Preston Chua enough to play 10 minutes, and then Isaiah Hardenstein's going to have to play 38 minutes. Uh, and you got Jericho Sims as your backup three. I think the, the position of guard and wing are more important right now than another backup big. That's just my opinion. I think upgrade the starting lineup or upgrade your bench via guard. They need that. They really do. A.J. McMecca, what about Drummond and Caruso to the Knicks? Who are you trading? Who are you trading? I think Caruso makes $7 million. $7.5 million. Drummond's about three. So we'll call it $12 million. Um, Hartenstein makes nine. Fournier makes 18. That's a hard number for the Knicks to get to. I think Drummond's a good player. I mean, he's not great, but he stuffs the stat sheet, and the Knicks could use a big like that for some more, for some more toughness. And I love Alex Caruso as well. Uh, didn't play all that good tonight on the offensive end. I mean, he kind of got cooked by Brunson a little bit. That's tough. Brunson's one of the best scoring guards in the league. But I just think that the Knicks need something different than those two guys. I think the Knicks need an offensive guard, a guy that can create for himself, and a guy that can create for others. That's what I think the Knicks need, and Caruso and Drummond don't really fit that bill. William McConaughey, I'm a little nervous we had to give up IQ because other teams are not valuing our picks, all highly protected picks. Yeah, um, look, there's a reason that the Knicks were able to get three protected picks for the 10th or 11th or 12th first-round pick that it was a couple of years ago when, you were, when the OKC wanted Yuzhman Jang. Um, but these do have value. They absolutely do. The Mavs pick is conveying. The Bucks pick is conveying. That Wizards pick is going to convey. And the Pistons pick, according to ESPN, is one of the most sought-after picks right now in the NBA because it's going to be top 8 or 10 protected in 2026, 2027. And they might be just good enough for that pick to convey. Um, I hate that we had to give up Manuel quickly. I really do. He's a lot of fun. And on top of that, he's damn good at basketball. And he fits what the Knicks needed. They needed a guard that could play alongside Brunson and run the offense. But the Knicks got better. The Knicks got better in the starting lineup. And that's what wins in this league. But the Knicks do absolutely need to do something about the void that Emmanuel quickly left coming off that bench. Jay Rock, how do we feel about Monty Morris coming to the Knicks? I don't think he's played this year. Uh, I was actually looking up Monty Morris, and I'm going to double check on that right now. Um... I think he's out with an injury. He's not played this year. No, he has not played. Um, he's dealing with an injury. I don't want to trade for an injured player. I don't want to trade for an injured player. I'm looking at a guy like Malcolm Brogdon. I'm looking at a guy like DeJounte Murray. I'm looking at a guy like Tyus Jones. I'm looking at a guy potentially like Terry Rozier. I'm not all that interested in Jordan Clarkson. Some people have brought up Spencer Dinwiddie. 
I don't like him. He talks too much noise about the Knicks. Um, you're looking for a guard in the 16 to $20 million salary cap window this year. That's how you make a trade. Also looking at DeJounte Murray. As always, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you for tuning in. We'll be back with another video tomorrow. We're live on the channel on Friday for the watch party. We're live on the channel on Saturday for the watch party. So subscribe and turn your notifications on.